Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-Level Maths. Here we're looking at the exponential function so we can answer questions from exercise 14a. So this is a generic exponential function. So what defines an exponential function is that the x this time is a power rather than a base number. So the base number could be 2, 3, 4, um, minus 1, minus 2, a half maybe, but x is always a power number. So that's what defines an exponential function. So for example, 2x, 5x, um, so let's have a look at what this graph might look like to start with. So uh, plotting a few x coordinates and their corresponding y coordinates, let's go from minus 3 up to 3. So 2 to the minus 3, that's going to be 1 over 8. Uh, 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 4, 2 to the minus 1 is 1 over 2. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So effectively, what we could say is that an exponential graph always crosses through the 0, 1 coordinate because when any number to the power of 0, it will equal 1. And then 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8. So we're not going to get any, des any, um, any negative numbers here. So no matter how far we go into the negatives, we're just going to have smaller and smaller fractions. And however far we go up into the positives, we're just going to get a very, very large number. So this graph here is not going to have any negative values. That's why I've only drawn half of the, uh, the top half of the coordinate axes here. And as we plot these coordinates, we can see what the graph is going to look like here. It's going to look so it's going to asymptotically come from the, um, from the x axis on the left and then increase, hit 1 on the y axis and then exponentially increase on the right hand side. Okay, so most of these graphs will have the same basic shape and it will always cross through at 0, 1. So here are a few more examples. So as, um, as the number tends towards 1, it's going to flatten out. And as the number gets bigger, it's going to increase more rapidly and more quicker. They'll all pass through 0, 1. They'll never go below 0. And they'll never be negative. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's have a look at what we'd get with this sort of graph here now. So this graph here is 2 to the power of x, and this graph here is 2 to the, not well, half to the power of x as well. We can think of this, and you can see this is a clear symmetry here between the 2 to the power of x graph and half to the power of x. But think about it like this, a half to the power of x is going to be the same as 2 to the minus 1 to the power of x, and a power of a power is just going to be 2 to the power of minus x. And a minus uh, reflection here is going to be in the y-axis, so that makes perfect sense. Right then, pause the video and have a go at these couple of questions that involve drawing out a exponential function. Right, well done for having a go at these, so let's see what graph number A looks like. So I'll draw... It roughly for a large portion of the graph will be on the top, so it's going to be y equals 3 to the power of x, so that's going to increase exponentially. It will cross through at 0, 1, and this is what it will look like. Uh, for the graph y equals 2 f of x, now this is going to stretch it upwards by a scale factor of 2. So it's going to still roughly be at the asymptote. This time it will cut through at 2, and it will exponentially increase as well. Okay, for this graph here, uh, we know the two coordinates that it goes through, so we've got to now find the equation of the line. So what I can set up here is a pair of simultaneous equations um, using the 1, 6 value and the 48, 4 value. So what I'll do here is I'll substitute the x and the y coordinates into my equation here. What I think I'll do here is taking the equation 2 and equation 1, the best way to solve this is going to be dividing one equation by another. So it's going to be 48 divided by 6 will it equal, uh, 46 divided by 6 is 8, which will equal now k times a to the 4 divided by k times a to the 1. We're just going to be left with a to the 3 here. So we can clearly see here that a is going to be the value 2. Now what will we get when we plug this back in? To, um, to this equation here, we're going to get k is 3. Okay, so a bit of simultaneous equation work there to work out the values of k and a, given two coordinates of an exponential graph uh, intersection. 
Right, so thanks very much for watching. Have a go at questions from exercise 14a. Make sure you're well versed in these sorts of exponential functions before it gets more difficult later on in the chapter. Thanks for watching.